Previously on Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay was determined to test the final five. Would you like to meet your competition? So he brought in a team of chefs to challenge them. Some of the finest chefs I've ever known. Five Hell's Kitchen champions. Rock, Christina, Dave, Nona, Paul. The smack talk began early. It's going to be a little tough from here on out. We are the best chefs up here. When it became time to battle at dinner service, Let's go. Susan struggled with the timing of her capellini. Capellini in 30 seconds. Oh, my god! And then Cindy had an issue with her temperatures on the lamb. She said to be a pool of blood. While season eight winner Nona hit a snag with her risotto. I need something. No, don't put it back. But whenever there was a problem in either kitchen. The capellini should be ready by now, yes? Yeah? Both teams bounced back. Very nice, that risotto. Susan easily recovered. Very nice, that capellini. Thank you, chef. As did Cindy. Incredible. And both kitchens completed a truly excellent dinner service. Proud of my team. Making Chef Ramsay's decision extremely difficult. Both teams performed very well. Thanks, chef. So, I reviewed the common cards. The final five had an incredible score. 93%. But the champions, 95%. Edged them out. Despite their impressive performance, the chefs had to nominate two for elimination. The process must continue. After a heated debate. Susan, I have to vote you as one. You failed. Cindy, you were also in the bottom two. It seemed like Susan was running the app station. What? They chose. Susan. And. Cindy. Who threw Mary under the bus. We just two individuals. Who are they? Mary. Marian. But Chef Ramsay was so pleased with dinner service, he gave everybody a pass. I am going to let you keep your black jackets. And a warning. Tomorrow's elimination will be one, two, or even three of you. Tonight, the final five are back at it again, battling it out to see who will be head chef of Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of here. Good night, Good night Chef. Great job. <sighs> you know I have to fight, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I, I know. know. Bye. I understand. I'm just frustrated, you know? Like, yeah, I didn't have to go up tonight, but Chef Ramsay could have freaking called me down because two people nominated me as the weakest chef. Cindy, the weakest two individuals in your team right now. The weakest two chef would be Susan and Mary. Susan. But I'm going to have to say Cindy and Marion. It just sucks. I think, like, the thing that pisses me off the most is, like, to be, like, told two nights in a row that you're still the weakest chef and that doesn't matter how far you freaking came. Like, what the hell is that? You know what I mean? You weren't even fucking up there fighting for yourself. Oh, I definitely could have went up there. He could have been like, well, Mary, since you got two votes, like, come up here. I, I think I know, obviously, how Mary feels, because it's like, it's almost like it, it counts for nothing that we've come so far. Now he's looking for the fucking MVP out of the black jackets. Most improved doesn't count. I don't know what else to say. I know, but it freaking sucks that I was up four times in a freaking row in the beginning, because that doesn't count for anything. And then to still be considered the weakest chef, like it doesn't matter how far I've come. To me, it doesn't though. I'm just telling you how I feel. Ugh, I'm just frustrated. <laughs> People think that I'm weak in Hell's Kitchen, but now I'm a contender. Forget about the beginning. I am a great chef, and Chef Ramsay sees that. Another freaking close call tonight. Oh, shit. After a late night of open conversation, the chefs get a little rest. But they head downstairs, energetic as ever. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. Morning, Eager chef. to prove that they belong in the final five. Good. I've personally prepared for you a certain type of entree that is now finding its way onto more and more five-star menus. 
It's a American dish that's sophisticated, inspirational, and something that everyone can identify. Cindy, what's under there? Ah, uh, chef. <laughs> I go to a five-star restaurant, uh, never. You know, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I got no idea what he's holding underneath there, but he's a total snob. It's probably something ridiculous. John. Maybe pork shank, chef? Pork I, shank. I know that's that's coming up as a big thing. Interesting. Janelle. I would have to go with maybe sweetbreads, kidneys, liver of some sort. Interesting again. May I present to you the Hamburger. Burger. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a delicious gourmet burger, one that I serve at one of my latest restaurants, Bread Street Kitchen in London. And it can go for as much as $100. Wow. Wow. That's ridiculous. Who pays $100 for a burger? No wonder you're rich, Chef Ramsay. You're selling burgers for $100 a pop? Why didn't I think of that? For your next challenge, each of you are going to create your own gourmet burger. Dude, this is a very, very big deal. If you don't know how to make a great burger, what the fuck are you trying to run a pub for Chef Ramsay for? I have one of the finest maitres anywhere in the world to help me judge. A man who started working in restaurants from seven years of age. He's worked with me as a maitre for the last 14 years. Chef Ramsay's talking about the finest maitre d' in the world. It's got to be Jean-Philippe, old slick back. Morning, everybody. Good morning. morning. Nice to see you. You good? Yeah, good. Are you ready to taste some delicious burgers? Lovely. JP is definitely a diva, so we're going to have to create a diva burger for him. I still can't believe we weren't together for 14 years. Quite it feels like 14 minutes underwater. <laughs> I... <laughs> Without oxygen. <laughs> right. John Philippe will not be judging this alone. He brought in some of his culinary friends, maitre d's, general managers, and sommeliers of some of the finest restaurants in the country. And here they are. Wow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Holy shit, man, what's going on? That is a lot of people. This has definitely got to be the most intense panel of judges yet. Good morning. Good to see you. Are we going to feed all these people? Yes. Welcome. It's so nice to see you. I'm uh, slightly worried about all the diners uh, eating out in Los Angeles today, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Chefs, for your challenge, you will prepare, each of you, 10 burgers. Every judge here today will receive a tasting sample of your delicious gourmet burger. Once you've finished cooking your last burger, I'd like you to circulate the dining room and give them a little insight to how you arrived at that stunning burger. You've all got 30 minutes to create something stunning. Yes, chef. Your time starts now. Off you go. For today's challenge, the chefs will have just 30 minutes to start sending gourmet burgers out to a dining room filled with culinary professionals. Sharp rib on. Mary, describe your burger. It's a short rib burger chef with a pancetta, roquefort relish, and a panini bun. Nice. I chose the short rib burger because short ribs are so succulent and amazing. I love burgers, man, but I've got to make something five star here. So what are you going to do? American Wagyu with uh, bourbon glaze, cipollini, onions. I want a fucking fat burger, juicy, grease running down. Janelle and Susan, I mean, these ladies are way too dainty. They probably do turkey burgers with avocado, all that fresh, healthy stuff. I am doing a uh, Greek yogurt and feta with dill um, spread. This burger represents me because I do live a healthy lifestyle. This has, like, char on it. I think that no one's going to be doing a healthy burger. Do we have cucumber? But I am very nervous about this challenge. I mean, I don't make burgers on a daily basis. Ah, uh, shit. My buns are burning. Ah. Uh. I don't even make them on a weekly or a monthly basis. These are all burnt. Fuck. Fuck. Guys, 10 minutes gone, yeah? Speed up a little bit, yeah? Got some Kalmatas, some Parmesan, mustard, peppercorns, salt. So this is all about Vegas and Caesar's Palace. Light bulb, Caesar salad, Caesar burger. Hitting that part of the uh, the Mediterranean. They make sense together. And then bump it beyond that real thick piece of meat. The Caesar. It's a Roman yeah. burger. Rome burger. Not just a Caesar, man. Rome. It's an empire. Got to get those buns working. Oh, shit. Oh, these buns are small. Wow, I mean, my burger's way too big. Oh, fuck. The buns are too small. There's absolutely nothing I can do at this point. But I can't let this shit die. Well, Live and learn. Last five minutes, guys. Waiter, standing by, please. Wakey, wakey, let's go. I'm making 
a salmon burger with some shallots, a little red onion, and I'm gonna do a grilled jalapeno. In a burger challenge, me using salmon as my protein is a huge risk. Salmon burger, don't overcook it, right? Everyone's expecting, you know, something rich and hearty, and uh, I'm going really light. Is this your jalapeno? Yeah. It's really black on one side. Oh yeah, let's pull that off. Pay attention, Janelle. Get your head in the game. There's a lot of shit going on. You need to be focused. 30 seconds to go. Start serving your burgers, guys, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and serve. Let's go. Service, please. The first burgers have started going out to the dining room. Salmon burger, Cindy's burgers, Mary's burgers, Roman burger from John. Each served on a different colored plate. Susan, go. And as the culinary professionals start tasting. It's got some flavor. Roman it's cooked burger. perfectly. The chefs hurry to complete their cooking. Let's go. So they can spend some valuable face time with the judges. My name's Mary. Um, you're tasting my burger right now. I'm lobbying for my burger right now. I'm selling it. Hi there. Then they just have to sit there and listen to my sweet little voice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Every plug I can give for my burger, I'm going to do it. Really rich, really creamy. They're very creamy, really creamy burger. Very rich, very creamy. That just makes a really creamy burger. <laughs> I'm not sure if you've enjoyed my burger yet. I know how to work a room. I'm Susan. I prepared a Mediterranean-inspired burger. I think I have a good selling ability. This is kind of a healthy burger, which I think everyone here in LA can kind of appreciate. We're all kind of watching our waistlines. So I feel like this is definitely a, a high point for me. You guys don't have to worry about your waistline, but you know, as a woman, I do. It doesn't hurt to be charming, so I want to eat a nice, you know, juicy burger, but still have not a lot of guilt afterwards, so. But we like the guilt. Oh, you like the guilt. <laughs> yeah. While Susan and Mary try to charm the judges, back in the kitchen, Come on, fucker. John is trying to persuade a burger. I'm gonna oil that one as well as I wanted to. God damn it, this last burger, of course, is causing me problems. Come on, John, last man. You are losing valuable face time. Come on. I'm the last person in the kitchen before I get out to the dining room, and I'm thinking, man, I need to fucking hurry up. Let's go. Apron off. Go. I feel like th there's a story behind my burger, so I have to give myself enough time to get out of the dining room and explain it. While the chefs get in their final campaigning. I took a risk, and I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Hope it's safe. Lots of beef. Good, yeah. I wanted to make it hearty. I like a hearty burger. I had uh, the Roman burger on the orange plates here, um, some Kalmata olives in the beef with Parmesan and black peppercorns. The judges are ready to score the burgers. The short rib and the salmon were, were, were a little bit different out of the box, and, and well done. I know she's trying with the salmon, but that's not really what we wanted, though. I, I'm hands down with John. John's, yeah, Roman burger. I didn't really get much flavor from it. Wow, OK, time for the results. OK, let's begin with the chef that finished in last place. That burger belongs to Susan. Ugh, last? Really? This is just going to be ammunition for the rest of the team to put me up for elimination, and I just, I can't afford this. There was a clear winner, a burger that stood head and shoulders above its competition. I'm really hoping my burger speaks for itself since I wasn't able to speak to everyone. I need to win this challenge, man. Almost 40% of you said this burger was your favorite. Wow. wow. I want to take this burger challenge with a salmon burger. That would be awesome. Please let it be my burger. Please let it be me. I put a really freaking good ass burger together. I got this shit. That burger belongs to John. Yes. Great job. Awesome. Good job, John. Thank you. I win like hands down. Long live the Roman burger. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Caesar's Palace, here I come with the Roman burger. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, bud. John, great work. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. You are in for one hell of a day, because today is spa day.
<laughs> Sweet. <laughs> You're going to have green tea facials. Mm. Mm. Hot stone massages that works. Nice. Wow. Now, I've arranged for you to share your day out with a teammate of your choice. Really? Wow. wow. OK. <laughs> John, I'd like you to think carefully. Come on, John, just pick me. I could totally use a spa day, man. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Please, John, pick me. Please, 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 please. John, who are you taking? I think, um, I think I'm going to have to take Cindy with me. Oh, my Cindy. God, John. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Me? John, seriously? Dude, yeah, that's awesome. Lovely choice. Your limo is waiting. Off you go. Congratulations. Well done. Oh, thank you. Thanks, John. Thanks. Good job, Bye, everyone. The decision wasn't super difficult. Cindy's like one of the guys. No fucking girly. You're getting her nails done, Tom. Yeah, no. Plus, Janelle's been on like every fucking reward. She can deal with the punishment today. Whilst John and Cindy are having the most amazing spa day, you're all going to have some very boring, endless chores. JP. Which one? Since John Flip did such a great job of getting all his friends to come here today, I'm giving him and his team the afternoon off. Do you have your list there? Yeah, Is that your list? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Wow, yeah. steaming linens, vacuum cleaning carpets, setting up tables, polishing silverware. Oh, wow. This list unfolds and it touches the ground. Washing your car? You are a real prima donna. JP's getting a day off today and he is putting it to full ears. Once that's done, I want you to set up ahead of a very busy service. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. There's only three of us, though, to get the entire dining room ready. Someone want to start with Someone? the steam? This is insane. How do you know it's on? <laughs> oh, no, guys. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> no offense, but thank god it's you three. <laughs> Good luck. Enjoy your massage. Oh, I will. <laughs> oh, dude, limo. <laughs> Go ahead, you're the winner. Oh, my god, dude. Unreal. Seriously unreal. Oh, man. Wow. Hi. John and I walk in, and the ambiance is just absolutely incredible. Candles lit everywhere. The room is so tranquil. This spa is heaven on Earth. I feel like a cupcake. <laughs> spa treatment? This is first time ever for me. Oh, and there's the cucumbers. And I feel like I'm on top of the world. You know, I almost wonder if JP does this on his off time. My car is outside, though. <sighs> Washing, no scratching. I'm not used to the punishments, and now we have to wash JP's car. Losing sucks. Oh, there's bird poop on oh. it. Oh, look at all that poop. Spray that poop off. Not a lot of water pressure. I don't like washing cars. It's just not my thing. I'm going to wash my own car. <laughs> Me either. Dirty cars go to a car wash. That's where cars go. Where does he park this car? Under a bird tree, a bird's nest. I got this crazy knot. It's probably from Chef Ramsay always yelling at me on that yeah, side. Poor John. Oh, oh. He is just like ooing and aahing and. Oh my God. Oh man. The faces John is making is crazy. Oh wow. He is really loving this massage. Oh my God. That's so good. <laughs> to not being in Hell's Kitchen doing the punishment right to now. To not be ironing and whatever else they're doing. So you just. Polish silver with a napkin. <laughs> what do you polish silver with? I mean, well, what do you Like suggest? a polishing cloth. We've used these before. Janelle is just, you know, perfect at everything. I'll vacuum. Susan, that's for the floor. I think that's for the seat. <sighs> I'm not an idiot. I know how to vacuum. Um, hello? These two girls do not know what they're doing. It's just my honest opinion. Put the B&Bs up here and then do the knives down. I always try to be assertive and take charge no matter what we're doing. Like this, like flush. Like, see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Janelle likes to tell everybody what to do, but I know what I need to do, and I don't need anybody to tell me. Who did this? I did that one, why? Didn't we say we were going to go in order? Oh, I'll hit the next four top. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Ugh. Be more careful. Just the communication was off. Just do it right. Whatever. So now, just chill. We can figure it out. We're grown women. It'll get done. What yep. the heck? With several hours of punishment behind them. You gotta get back into the red kitchen to start prep. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. It's now time for Mary, Janelle, and Susan to prep the kitchen for tonight's dinner service. 
Jump on station, set it up. All right, let's do it. Make sure everything in your station is there. Hey. Hey. Hey, guys. And with John and Cindy back from their reward, it's all hands on deck. Ready for battle. Come on then, John. Show me your fingers, chef. nails. Beautiful, chef. Are you oh, relaxed? Yeah, absolutely, chef, but ready yeah. to work. For the first time in one kitchen, one, two, three, four, five of you are feeding the entire dining room. And we are here to prove that this group of chefs can deliver. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Get on your stations. Let's yes, go. Chef. JP, please, open yes, Hell's chef. Kitchen. Let's go. All right, garnish is set. Meat's looking good. Mine is the score. I'm working on that right now, though. I'm going to start buttering some buns. Timing, synchronization more than ever before, right? Yes, chef. Guys, guests are walking in. Walking in. Walking in. Walking in. Let's go, guys. The remaining chefs have survived 15 dinner services. But tonight, with just five chefs in one kitchen, there will be nowhere to hide. Excellent. Here we go. Good luck, guys, yes? Yes, chef. Four covers here with 31. Two sliders, two risotto. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, six minutes on that first risotto. Six minutes heard. There's five of us still. We're all fighting for one position. This is going to be the toughest test that we've experienced yet. Risotto walking. Blocking those sliders. Yep, table two. Go, please. The kitchen is off to a strong start, but in the dining room. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I know this is late notice, but we were like a table for me and my friend James Kraft. Is yeah. it possible? Hi, James. Jean-Philippe, nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. It's a yeah. pleasure, pleasure. Um, Have a seat and let me see what, what we can you. do. Give me a moment. Thank you. Jean-Philippe has a small problem. I have uh, Mr. Antonio Sabato Jr. He's a VIP. He's in the bar. We're fully booked. Could I use a chef's table? Of course. Let's Thank go. You. What do we got? I managed the best table in the house. Awesome. Right awesome. Let's we'll take it. Yeah, that's great. Well, follow me. Thank yeah. you very much. How are you, my friend? Good to see you, buddy. You're welcome. You're welcome. welcome. Thank you good very to much. Good see you both. You good? James Kraft. James, how are you? Antonio Sabato, Jr. He's actually very attractive in person. Thank you yeah. very much. Ah. Hopefully, he uh, is impressed with our skills. Uh, guys, we have a VIP joining us at the chef's table. Yeah? Wake up, everybody, yes? Yes, yeah. Cindy, take the order. Let's go. Yes, chef. I'm not nervous at all. Antonio Sabato, Jr., you know, he's a great-looking guy and all. Lobster risotto. Okay. I'll do the Caesar salad. Thank you very much. Thank you. But uh, not really my cup of tea, if you know what I mean. <laughs> VIP chef table, yes? One lobster risotto, one Caesar. Yes, chef. Put a little uh, portion of sliders out there as well. Yes, chef. Let's go. Chef. Slider will be ready in four minutes. Four minutes her. I'm not going to buckle under the pressure tonight. I'm going to stay calm, focused, and drive the team. Walking Caesar. Behind you, chef. Lobster. Cindy's standing staring. Look, Cindy's here. You're back there. And Cindy comes up empty-handed. Oh, Jesus. Cindy. Cindy. Yes, chef. Serve the chef's table, please. Let's go. Absolutely, Chef. There's only one team, one kitchen pumping out orders. Chef prepared these sliders special for oh, you to thank enjoy you very in much. addition. And we are doing a great job right now. That's good. Push the risotto, Janelle. Let's yes, go. Yes, Chef. I'm really getting slammed with risottos. I just have to make sure that mine's delicious and that people like it. 30 seconds to the window, please. Yes, Chef. Let's go. Right now, walk in. Janelle, are you ready on those risottos? Janelle, what are you doing? Sorry, Chef. It's coming in one minute. Oh! Janelle, come on. Send it, Janelle. Risotto walking. Hey, all of you. All of you. Hey, that no, means chef. you. I'm sorry, Chef. Yeah, come here, you. Taste that. Ugh, it's disgusting. Come here, all of you, come here. We have a VIP guest in the fucking kitchen. What is that? It's mush. Absolute mush. What is happening? I can't believe it. It's just really, really embarrassing. Get a grip now. Yes, yes chef. chef. Sorry, Chef. Take a deep breath, get your shit together, and just make it right. I got one. Yes. Right, thank you. With yes, Janelle chef. having issues with her risotto, the flow of food out to the dining room has slowed down considerably. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. I know. The bread's holding me over, I guess. And hungry diners are getting restless. <laughs> like some food, so I don't have to wait around and eat bread all night. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Those sliders look good. Do you think if I went and asked for one, they'd give me one? <laughs> they probably would give you one. How long, please, Janelle? Walking risotto. Let's go. I'm here. The 
Let's go. That risotto is delicious. Thank you, Chef. Good job, Janelle. It was such a relief. I'm just going to have to try to keep this up because this is only the beginning. Janelle's recovery on risotto has reinvigorated her team. Pick it up. Keep talking. And pleased the diners. It's worth the wait. Wow. Yeah. With the team back on track. Two sliders, one muscles, one risotto. I hope it's working. Yes, yes chef. chef. Chef Ramsay pushes to get the rest of the appetizers out. Come on, come on, come on. Walking muscles, walking muscles. Two muscles, Chef. Let's go. Stop walking risotto. Behind. Sliders, I'm dying. Sliders are walking. Sliders. Let's go. Did you check the uh, temperature? She gave us a slider without any meat in it. Mary. Yes, Chef. Two sliders, buns all greasy, and one with no pate. It's a burger. You put the burger, you put the bun. You know, you put it all together. It's a... <laughs> I don't fucking know. OK, yes, Chef, I have one. I'm... No, it's not OK. That's what I'm asking. Come on, please. Ah! I'm trying to get it together, Chef. Mary, please, look at me. Yes, Chef. You're getting your knickers in the twist. Calm down. Yes, Chef. I wear knickers on a regular basis. You never go commando in the kitchen. It's dangerous. If you concentrate, you won't forget to put the pate in between the fucking bun. Yes, Chef. Two sliders are gone? Yes. No, they're not gone. I'm waiting oh, for you. I'm being a freaking idiot right now. OK, I'm coming, Chef. I just asked you for it. OK, right here. They haven't gone. Are you OK? Yes, Chef. Stop. Mary. Yes, Chef. All of you, come here. Yes, Chef. Oh, my gosh. All of you. That's you, Susan. Yes, Chef. Just touch that. It's dry as a bone. Look. Do you think that's going to be served at Caesar's Palace? No, Chef. I'm sorry, Chef. If we get kicked out with these black jackets on, whoo-hoo, so help me God. Oh, come on. Please, Mary. Mary, I need you with me, or we're going to fuck this whole service up. I have another one coming right now, Chef. Jesus Christ. Let's go, ladies. Please pick it up. Holy cow. I'm just trying to get this right, done. We're, get, we're, get, we're getting it, Mary. We're getting it. One portion of sliders, urgently. Can you walk those sliders for me? Got it. Thank you. Just one order or two? Guys, please, get a grip. Ah! Uh, I am so frustrated right now. Coming, Chef. Sorry, Chef. Yeah. We need to start getting food to these diners. Go. OK, good job in those burgers. Mary's third attempt at sliders is a home run. Keep going. Yep, next ticket. Blocking scallops. And appetizers are now leaving the kitchen at a steady pace. Service, please. Go. Dirty tool, yeah. Thank you. Good. Opening the door for Chef Ramsay to start sending entrees as well. Oh, wait now, two weddings in one halibut, one sole, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. I need seven minutes. I'm disappointed with my performance on sliders so far, but I'm ready to put out beautiful fish plates. I'm a strong chef. I know that I can do this. Two Wellingtons, four minutes. Garnish, you need three. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be on Garnish. I feel like I will definitely be a great voice for the kitchen. Failure is not an option. Got to prove myself. Tonight is the night. I'm dying now. The halibut, the sole, the two Wellington, you said seven minutes. Nine minutes ago. How long? One minute on Garnish. It's all cut. Garnish, let's go. Walking Wellingtons. Garnish. Wellington, chef. Garnish. Walking. Susan. Yes, Chef. I'm dying for the halibut and the salt. I need one minute on the halibut salt, please. All of you. All of you. Yes, Chef. Now Susan reverts to burnt garnish. That's for her fucking salt. Look at that. Hey, what's that what you want? Burnt garnish? No, Chef. Susan, wake up. Yes, Chef. Damn. Sucks. Really, really sucks. The fish is still in her hand. Can yes, you chef. please walk, walk. my garnish for Got a bit, please? Heard. Coming. Fish and the garnish. Look at this. Oh, fuck me. All of you, come here. Yes, chef. All of you. Yes, chef. She burns the garnish for the sole. This looks like it's been steamed, right? Then you flip it over. Black as fuck. Oh, fuck off. Both of you, fuck off. Fuck off. Come on, guys, let's pick up our quality. Sorry about that burnt garnish. Will you get a soul on, please? What the fuck? I'll be out in one minute with that, OK? Yes, Chef. You being behind is going to fuck me up. So frustrating. Soul garnish walking. Where's the soul, please? Coming up, Chef, right now. Right behind you. How'd you do that? I'm sorry, Chef. Come one side. I'm fucking... sorry, Chef. I'm very sorry, Chef. Service, please. Okay. Although Susan and Mary hit a few speed bumps as they close in on completing the entrees, the chef's table... Oh, my God. See how tender that is? 
yeah. is impressed with the final results. Here we go. Two girls table 21, two muscles, entree, one halibut or New York strip. Yes, yes chef. chef. Two minutes on this order, one halibut, one New York. Three minutes, Eric. Who cool? what, what's she on about? Susan calling out halibut New York steak, and she hasn't been sending appetizers. What's going, Susan? Right now, we have one halibut and one New York. Hey, all of you, come here. Stop what you're doing, all yes, of you. Chef. She's firing entrees. One halibut New York strip. FYI, Dumbo, we haven't even sent the appetizers. What is Susan thinking right now? Like, what, is, what are you thinking, Susan? Is the ticket crossed out? No, no chef. chef. What are you doing to them? We, we fired that ticket, Chef. Who's we? I didn't. She screwed. All of a sudden, you're the chef, right? No, Chef, no. Stand up, step up. Here you go. Here you go. You fucking run it then. Here you go, Andy. Leave her alone. Susan can't even give correct times on her own station. She's running the kitchen. Uh, we're fucked. <laughs> Sorry. You run it. Fuck it. There you go. Run it. Fucking good luck. Off you go. This is a fucking joke. Andy, fuck him. Leave him. Pathetic. I have to prove to my teammates that I'm not going to crumble. I'm going to run this pass, and I'm going to keep service going. Guys, let's not lose our fight. They're not here. They want to see us fight. Speak Absolutely. Up, Susan, tell us what you need. Two muscles. Susan, I'm walking muscles. Come on in. Here. For 41. Yes. Thank you. Fire! Three Wellington, three New York strip, please. Her. How long, guys? One minute. Can we walk those three New York? Her. Three Wellingtons. Slicing Wellingtons. Wow. Oh my gosh. Chef Ramsay is back in the kitchen. I have no idea what he's going to do, and I'm really nervous. Oh, Jesus. Last table. How long do you need, John? One minute. Uh, I need three orders of mushrooms working. Beautiful. Thank you, Garnish. So, hello. I'm ready on Garnish. Wellington's walking now. New York will be right behind. Walking. John, where's the New York? Walking. Go, please. Turn everything off. Line up, guys, please. Yes, Chef. Trust me, this is not going to take long. I don't know where to start. After one of the best ever services in Hell's Kitchen, I was expecting more of the same, right? But tonight was a disaster. I've seen you have better services weeks ago. At this stage in the game, everything you touch, it has to be your best. I'm not messing around tonight. I want all of you to go up to the door. Nominate two of the weakest individuals and move your ass. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Go, guys. I can't believe we sucked that bad. This is going to be tough. Who's voting for who? Obviously, I had a really good service tonight. I'm not going up. Um, my first person is Mary. You were just overwhelmed. Mary, I'm more upset with you about the Dover sole and not checking the underside. I don't think that that makes me the weakest chef. This is ridiculous. I wasn't the only one who made mistakes. Everybody had a bad service. Janelle, you freaking know what a risotto tastes like. You should know when it's overcooked. I didn't taste that one. You should and know I should know the taste. taste. So For sure. you put up risotto that you didn't taste. And that's something like you should know better. Yeah, Janelle. I... Right, right, right. Tonight, you know, the pressure's on and you stumbled pretty significantly. All right. Everyone's trying to put me up based on tonight's dinner service, and that's a bullshit. I know that I'm stronger than a lot of chefs that are still here, and I'm gonna fight for it. I think you should think about who you think is the weakest chef. If we're this far into the game, and somebody folds, that tells you who the weakest chef is. Well, I disagree, because I think the pressure's on every night. Janelle cannot accept the fact that she has weaknesses. I had a fucking bajillion risottos tonight. But, you know, I didn't break down. She still thinks that when the pressure's on, she just bounces back. Oh, I'm fine. I got it going. I don't think that me having two bad services makes me the weakest chef. You failed tonight, and it makes you weak. That is the bottom line. If I have to choose who I think the weakest chef is, it's, it's you. Susan, I think you're the weakest chef here. So it makes me weak that I held my station down tonight. No, I don't when, think that no, I let me finish because you got to finish. Okay? You just asked a question. It, it was makes like, me weak. That's a fucking question. I know for a fact that I am a better chef than Susan. She's got to be crazy to think that she's a better chef than me. I'm Susan, not weaker. I, I ask you, 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 if you would rather have Susan on your team or me. Who do you really think is stronger? Who do you really think is a fucking better chef? My palate is better than yours. I'm faster than you. I have more ideas than you. I'm more
more creative than you, and that's my fucking reason. You're really fucking humble, too. I don't think that she's said I know what I can do. You make a lot of fucking rookie mistakes, and I am a rookie. Exactly, that's my fucking point, Susan. But you can't come with the I am the rookie. That's my fucking point. You are a rookie, which makes you not a fucking better chef than me. What are we going with? After a near flawless performance against Hell's Kitchen champions last service, tonight's performance was a bit of a setback. What a nice. The chefs have been tasked with choosing two people for elimination. So disappointing. I thought you were the dynamic five. Have you reached a decision? Yes, yes chef. chef. Susan, first nominee. Chef, our first nominee tonight was Mary. She had a really hard time communicating. She could not pull her weight on the fish station, and she really couldn't keep it together. Second nominee. We're actually split between Janelle and myself. Oh, stop. So you haven't reached a decision. So, Susan, why Janelle? Chef, I feel like her inability to put up correct risotto is a big indication that she doesn't have what it takes to be your executive chef. Janelle, your thoughts on Susan? I do not think that Susan's a stronger chef than me. I haven't been up for elimination because my team has faith in me. Susan has been up for elimination because the team doesn't have faith in her. A split decision. Mary, Susan, Janelle, step forward, please. Susan. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in House Kitchen? I have the tenacity, the passion, the drive, and I want this so bad, Chef. How do you stand two feet away from the hot plate and fire the fucking entrees when we hadn't sent the appetizers? It was a mistake. Mary, disaster tonight. Yes, Chef. What happened? I made my mistakes, but I bounced back. I fixed them. I didn't quit fighting, Chef. I have learned from my mistakes. Janelle, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Because that was your worst performance. Chef Ramsey, from the day that I got here, I have continued to show you my potential. I'm a leader on that team, and I have been since day one. Everyone's emerging, but I've been there, and I'm not going away. This is very difficult. The person leaving House Kitchen. Harry. <sighs> Back in line. Thank you, Chef. Susan, please give me your jacket. Your time yes, is done in Hell's Kitchen. Listen, don't underestimate the potential. Stick with it. Do not stop. Thank you, Chef. Because I may have a job for you down the road. I look forward to that. OK. Good night. Bye, Susan. Bye, Susan. Bye, Susan. Bye, Susan. Coming into the competition, I realized that there was going to be people that were much more experienced than me. First off, I can see from here that your lamp is absolutely fucking raw. I'm in culinary school, and this was my very first experience working on a line. Come on! I just dropped my lamb, guys. Oh. I'm most proud that no matter what challenge was thrown at me, cauliflower. Yes. Yes. Good job. You just wanted for your team. I did not back down. I have prepared a white miso dashi with a ponzu daikon salad on top. That's fantastic. That's a very good dish. Thank you, chef. I had a black jacket. Yay, Susan! Well you know, I made it very far in this competition, so I'm going to be ready for whatever comes my way. Janelle, back in line. Yes, chef. Let me tell you, tonight, you're all crap. Come back tomorrow, ready to fight. The end is in sight. There is no room for mistakes now. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. Get out of here. Yes chef. yes, chef. This competition is going to continue to test me. I just have to make sure that I'm the last one standing. It doesn't matter what my teammates think. Chef Ramsey sees the fight in me. He sees great potential, and that's all that matters. Two people between me and the final two? I'm, I'm bringing the heat tomorrow. These girls are not backing down. This shit is cutthroat. Dog eat dog, man. Susan had little experience, but she came a long way. She's not ready to leave my kitchen in Vegas, but I'm happy to say that she'll be leaving House Kitchen as a real chef. Next time 
on Hell's Kitchen. Time to shine, yes? Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. It's getting down to the wire. Who's got it, who doesn't? Chef Ramsay drops a bombshell. There's four of you now, and after tonight's service, there'll only be two. That might just have the chefs gunning for each other. This is the one battle I need to win so I can win the war. Will it be three against one? Do you want to go home? They're just trying to get rid of me. Really want to take her down. Come here, motherfucker. Or will their cutthroat tactics... Is it a sabotage? ...backfire? How stupid are you? And the chefs prove on the hot plate they are leaders. Three risotto, one scallop, two two tops. Without going away. How long on those appetizers? Push it. Where's the garnish for the scallops? Overboard. Get it up here right now. She's being a little tyrant up there. Who will move one step closer to a dream come true? The first person moving on to the final is. And whose dreams will be crushed? The first person not moving on to the final. Is. Find out next time on a life-changing episode. This is it. I am not stopping the fight now. I'm here to stay. I'm going to win. Of Hell's Kitchen.